If you hate Jesus, then just keep scrolling. But if you love Jesus, then stick around and watch until the end. God message for you today. Look after the kinder parts of your soul. Tell yourself things you love about yourself most. Some days you'll feel like a stranger to the world, but most of all know you're building all of you. You're crashing into waves but also rising out of them. Whatever trials you face right now, trust the process. Trust in the person you're becoming. Yes, we all have moments of weakness. We all have moments we feel fragile and vulnerable to life. But one day, all of it will come together. Then you'll look back and see you persevered. Type Amen if you trust in God. Today's message for me, you may believe that living life to the fullest is seeing every country in the world and quitting your job on a whim and falling recklessly in love, but it's really just knowing how to be where your feet are. It's learning how to take care of yourself, how to make a home within your own skin. It's learning how to build a simple life you are proud of. A life most fully lived is not always composed of the things that rock you awake, but those that slowly assure you it's okay to slow down, that you don't always have to prove yourself, that you don't need to fight forever or constantly want more, that it's okay for things to be just as they are, little by little you will begin to see that life can only grow outward in proportion to how stable it is inward, that if the joy is not in the little things first, the big things won't fully find us. Type 11. 11. If you agree this, God says today, you are coming out of a chapter that has tested you, but it has prepared for you everything that's ahead. In the storm, it's hard to see the sun, however, that doesn't mean that the sun isn't there. The storm is passing in your life, and you're starting to see the sunlight and feel the energy of a new beginning. You have grown immensely from your recent obstacles and struggles. If you don't see that yet, you will soon. Receive and believe this. The way you make decisions has drastically changed. You no longer decide based on your traumas and your fear. You face your life through the lens of prosperity and peace, expecting the best while preparing for anything less. This is a whole new mindset, an entirely new way of being. The old you wouldn't recognize this authentically raw version of yourself, but it would be impressed. The places you're going, both inner and outer, exceed any expectations you could have ever had for yourself. Type, Amen. If you agree this, today's message for you. Non-attachment is a pivotal practice going forward for you. The easiest way to enjoy life is to accept what makes its way to you. Embrace it, enjoy it, and let it go when and if it needs to. Trying to hold on to things and people is a trait you picked up when you were in survival mode. The good things in your life were far and few between, so you felt the need to grasp and hold on to what was good. That's no longer needed. You have one good thing lined up after the next. The next thing being better than the last. The things and people that are meant to remain will. What needs to go also will. Maintain you energy. Flow with what's meant for you. Type 2121. If you believe this, universe message for you today, the universe is confirming what you already knew that the plot twist was that your trauma would turn into your growth, 
that your difficulties would become abundance, that your anxiousness would become memories of a life that once was. So, even if you're in the middle of these transitions, know that each new day is an opportunity to continue sliding towards all the things you not only deserve, but earned. They're not just a privilege, but a right. A right of your existence to live peacefully and abundantly through all things. Type 3333 if you agree this. Today's message. The reason you go through so many ups and downs is not because your life is so volatile, but because your mind latches on to whatever is happening right in front of you. You get so focused on individual experiences that they overbear you. You have to remember to go outside and look up at the clouds. Your day-to-day -day events are so small in comparison to the totality of the life that's out there for you. This is why something can appear like the end of the world today and like nothing at all two months from now. It all stems from your center of focus and attention. Snap out of whatever doesn't feel good. Type 5, 5, 5, off you trust in God. Today's message, you should never let how people feel about you dictate the way that you feel about yourself. It's so common to measure your self-worth by external factors, and it's not until you truly value yourself that you learn how heartbreaking that is. Why is it that some people can so easily make you feel like you're not good enough or that you're not worthy of what they have to offer? How can the way someone feels about you make you doubt yourself and destroy your confidence? Stop letting shitty people dictate how you feel about yourself. Stop letting people who have a long way to go with their personal development hinder your progression. When will you realize just how much you deserve? When will you see that you are so worthy of what you desire? When will you stop looking for validation in the wrong places? When will you realize that it's all in you? It always has been and it always will be. Type, I'm abundant to claim. Today's message, there is a goodness about you and you don't even need to use your words to express it because it is felt. Despite everything you've gone through, the pain, the grief and the suffering, this goodness within you is more alive than ever. You're like a rose that grew from concrete. The right people will receive your energy with an open heart. They will respect your scars and comfort your traumas. You won't have to explain or prove yourself. They will feel your love and understand your intention. So many of us have abandoned ourselves many times over. We've done things that others have wanted us to do or told us that we ought to do, even when it doesn't jive with us. We've looked for external validation in order to know where we stand in this world. We've believed that our worthiness and deservingness comes from someone else choosing us and forget that our worth and healing come from us choosing ourselves and reclaiming that which was all ours to begin with. Subscribe our channel if you love God.